Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about my 2018 top picks for beauty products. Check it out. All right guys, let's get started. So my top picks for 2018. There were so many. I had a plethora of options and I tried to narrow it down the best I could, but I had so many products I just absolutely fell in love with. And it doesn't mean that they were new to the market. It just means that they weren't either new to me or I just continue using them year after year. And these are my top top picks for 2018. I know we're in 2019, but I'm gonna show you what 2018 looked like for me and the products I just kept, either I hit pan or I just couldn't stop using or I couldn't get enough of. So let's start off with skincare. Well, actually, I don't wanna to get too much into skincare because I'm gonna do a whole separate video on skincare, but my top picks for like primers and moisturizers as far as underneath my makeup goes, these are my go-to, I can't live without products. And the first one is my moisturizer. So I have very, very sensitive skin. I have mature skin, I'm 40. So I there's a lot of products I need to use or I can't use. I mean, it's just, it's confusing. My skin is confused and right now my skin absolutely hates me. <laughs> but, you know, it's expected, it's winter months, it's cold outside. I do a lot of running, I do a lot of working out, I clog my pores, I shoot videos, so I'm just constantly wearing makeup and it just my skin is so irritated right now and Clinique Moisture Surge is just like the best product for my skin it there's no fragrance to it it's derma friendly I just feel like it just it's so good besides hyaluronic acid these are the two products that I probably go to the most so I'll either use my drops my hyaluronic acid drops or I'll use this moisture surge by Clinique I just feel like it's the only thing that doesn't affect me or make me break out and it's just so lightweight and airy oh it's just so moisturizing I absolutely love this moisturizer I travel with it I, I can't live without this product it is a wonderful moisturizer the key to my skin is the less I put on, the better I am. I try the silicone primers and I love that it softens your skin and it looks beautiful. I've talked about Pure Minerals Corrective Primer. That one is a wonderful primer, but it did not like my skin after a while. So I've noticed that I started breaking out more with it, so I stopped using it. The only primers that I could really use that don't affect my skin are the Too Faced Hangover RX. I absolutely love this primer. That's a very, very, very good primer. It's made with coconut water. It's just, it's hydrating. It really just creates a good surface to your skin. Uh, there is a Murad one I really like, but I haven't just, I, I tried it in store and I just haven't been able to crack down and buy it. It's like 60 bucks, but it's not really a primer. It's more of a moisturizer for sensitive skin, but it actually works really good as a primer too. Another good primer that I just learned about is Monistat. I know, crazy, right? You probably are gonna look in your makeup bag and see a Monistat, but that's not something you would use on it every day. That'd be like for special occasions, but that does create that like it just kind of fills in the pores and it does kind of create like that silicone base. But you don't want to use that every day. But that's just for like if you were having a wedding or we can go in more depth with that in a different video. But that would be the only primer I would use besides my hourglass primer. I absolutely love the mineral veil. Hourglass primer, this is just the travel size, but I don't use a lot of it, so I don't like to buy the big one. I like to buy the small one because I don't really use too much. Those are the primers and moisturizers I would use, and those would be my favorite for 2018. Now, as far as foundations go, I have been going non-stop with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I use the Natural Beige. This Oh, this foundation is everything. I tell you, when I wear this foundation, I always get asked whether it's from people I care about or just people outside in public. They're like, what are you wearing? Your skin looks so flawless. And it's Born This Way foundation. I'm telling you, this stuff is the absolute best. I found myself going through like two or three of these this year. This is my top foundation of 2018. Now I'm a huge fan of Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I think it is a wonderful foundation. Another one that I get a lot of compliments on. I, it just gets pricey for me. So when I'm buying my own makeup, I'm doing my own videos, and I am purchasing all these products right now because I don't get PR packages. I don't get sponsored by anybody. So I am 
I have to go through a lot and purchase a lot of makeup to make these videos. So Luminous Silk, I try to use very sparingly, but this is another wonderful, wonderful foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. Jouer Cosmetics is another foundation that I absolutely fell in love with in 2000, at the end of 2017 and 2018. It's just very, very, very full coverage. So. I don't, and it kind of dries down to like almost like a powder-like effect, a very mattifying effect, which is good and bad. I mean, I just, I, let's, let's just say if I was getting married and I was, or if I was going, if I was going to be in a wedding or some type of special occasion or photo shoot, usually you would use MAC, right? MAC is just the go-to for that. But actually Jouer is pretty darn good. It gives MAC a run for its money. Uh, probably even comparable in price. Maybe this might be a little bit cheaper, but what I've learned with this foundation is it works really good in conjunction with another one. So let's just say I'll do one pump of this and then the rest with my Born This Way or my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. In combination, it is absolutely beautiful, or you can even use it with a moisturizer. That's another key to kind of tone it down a little. So that is a beautiful, this one is a little light for me now. It's fawn, but uh, they have such a variety of different colors. And now they sell it at Sephora, so you can go match your skin. So I really like that before it was only sold online and now it's in stores at Sephora. So very excited about that. As far as concealers go, Okay, so I did a video. I did really, really like the Born This Way Super Coverage Multipurpose Concealer, but there's a but. I keep going back to tried and true shape tape. Let me tell you guys, really, honestly, if I'm being 1000% honest, there is not a concealer on the market that is better than Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Now, if you don't like a lot of coverage, this may not be the one. Then I would say Born This Way Too Faced is a wonderful, multi-purpose, good concealer. But if you like coverage and you're like me or you just, or you like that glam look, there is not a better concealer on the market than Tarte Shape Tape. I'm telling you guys, it is the best of the best concealers. It will continue probably being in my favorites every single year because there really hasn't been anything launched on the market that is better than Shape Tape from Tarte Cosmetics. I'm telling you. I did like the MAC Studio Fix um, 24 hour concealer. This is a wonderful concealer to add to the Shape Tape. So I can kind of use the Shape Tape a little bit more sparingly than I normally would. And I'll add a little bit of this in. This is actually a little lighter for me. I think this is NC25. It is a beautiful color though. It kind of just gives that highlighting point. What I really like to use this is my eyelids. I think it is a wonderful eyeshadow base. I was a huge MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot soft ochre girl. I never used anything besides that. But let me tell you, this concealer just really carves out your eyebrows like a nobody's business. It is so, so good. But when it comes to eyeshadow base, this is my 2018 top pick. This P. Louise. Let me tell you guys, this is the best of the best. I never thought I would say this because like I said, I was soft ochre all the way by MAC Cosmetics. Not until I tried the P. Louise. This base is the ultimate holy grail of eyeshadow bases. There is not a better eyeshadow base on the market than the P. Louise. I think I'm in number two, I wanna say, uh, but this is so good. It is, you don't even have to set this one. You can actually just put, put it on and then just start your eyeshadow. I, I just like to set, I'm just a big setter. I, I don't know, just insurance for me. I just makes me feel good. I don't know if it's like a security blanket or something, but I like to set it anyway, but you do not have to set it with this base. It is amazing. But I still like to carve out my eyebrows with the Studio Fix. I don't know, I have a whole method to my madness. I still love Maybelline Age Rewind. I think this is still a, this is in neutral, this is still my go-to. I, again, like to even mix the tape, shape tape, the tape, shape tape, the Tarte shape tape and the Maybelline Age Rewind together. I think that is a beautiful combination. That's what I did on my look today. I just, uh, those are my three concealers of 2018. I think honestly, those will continue being my three concealers and my top pick for eyeshadow base. I kind of combined that with my concealers today, but that's okay. So those are my favorite bases as two before I start my glam look. All right, let's go to the essential setting powders. 
You have to have a setting powder. It is essential to your makeup routine. I mean, you cannot go with foundation and concealer and not set it. There's nobody in this world that can do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, but you have to break down and get a setting powder. And there are some affordable ones. I'll do that in a separate video. But these are my top picks for 2018. It'll probably be the same ones every single year because I am just a creature of habit and these just work the best for my skin. Now, Laura Mercier, been using it for years, this translucent powder, years. I just love this translucent powder. Now, as far as if you're dry, and I tend to get very dry during the winter, this is probably not my absolute go-to, but I have been loving this Cover FX perfect setting powder and it is perfect let me tell you this gave this a run for its money in 2018 i used a lot of this is my second one i've gone through i just love this for a setting powder it is absolutely beautiful it just sets your makeup so beautifully and it's it's hydrating it's not drying so if you're oily I probably would stick to the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but if you're more on the normal to dry side, I would stick to the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I just, I don't know. I mean, they're both really good, but I don't know. I've just been kind of leaning more to the Cover FX lately, but I'll link everything on the bottom. But those are my two favorite setting powders. As far as really setting my makeup and kind of giving a little bit of color more, I love, okay, this is my... Uh, again, my holy grail, I cannot live without this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder in number two. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so beautiful. This just gives you that uh, photo editing facetune airbrush look. I mean, this will just literally blur out everything. It is so beautiful. It's I want to say around $50, but I it takes me about four months to get through it. Maybe, maybe three. If I wasn't doing videos, probably wouldn't take, wouldn't go through so much of it, but I don't know, maybe I still would. Who knows? I like using a brush, like I'll use like an It Cosmetics fluffy brush with it, or I even like taking my beauty blender and using it and just really like setting it into the skin. And uh, same thing goes with my powder. Now, I forgot to mention, but I really, and I never used these powder puffs until Mario, Kim Kardashian, it came out when he did his master class and some of the other YouTubers said, how well this really works. And I thought to myself, I remember I the, the little travel size ones come with like a little tiny sponge you have to buy this one separately the big one but this came in a set at Christmas time with the Laura Mercier translucent powder but this really does work and you can just like literally like set that translucent powder with this sponge and it comes out flawless it is beautiful I think it's like $15 on its own it's worth it. it is a really good powder puff okay so as far as bronzers go and contour there's a bronzer I'll use to like just use as a bronzer and then there's a bronzer I'll use to contour with and it's more of like a contour kit now the hula bronzer it's called bronzer but this is a wonderful and I talk about it over and over and over again but this has been my highlight for 2018 I think this is a multi-purpose product and a very good product and you can buy the travel size you can buy the full size this came in like a package or like a gift set during Christmas so that's the only reason why I got it oh I think I got it at Macy's for like half off that's why I was like it ended up being cheaper than the travel size so that's why I have the bigger one but usually I stick to the travel one and this again use it for my bronzer my contour check out that video this I'm not going to go too much in depth but hula bronzer, mm -hmm. this is my this is my ride or die for 2018. I'm telling you. Uh, as far as like a good contour kit, you guys now if you watch my videos. I am a Kat Von D girl, shade and light palette all the way. This was again my ride or die for 2018. I what I really like about this kit, and I wish almost I could probably just purchase it separately and put it like in my Z palette, but is that middle banana like yellow brightening powder. I love after I like set with that Charlotte Tilbury, I like taking my Morphe contour sponge and just setting underneath my eyes with that yellow. Uh, like a banana type powder. It just brightens. It is so beautiful. It just leaves that under eye area so perfect. So perfect looking. Absolutely love that. That was probably my favorite contour kit of the year besides like just the Hula bronzer separately. 
Again, Mac, give me sun. It's been with me for many, many years and I just can't get enough of it. Just love this stuff. And I like this when I just don't even feel like using a contour or bronzer. Really, this would be the bronzer I would go to. And I would just take like my Too Faced, um, you can look at my brush video. Uh, it's like a bronzer brush. I just t like taking that for just more of my natural days and just going with that look and using this as a blush too. It's so beautiful. I love that MAC, give me sun. That I will continue using, that will continue being my favorites probably year after year. As far as blushes go, MAC. I'm just a MAC girl all the way when it comes to blushes. There are some good affordable ones. I'll do that in a separate video, but we're talking about my favorites of 2018. This is Modern Mandarin has been, and the top part fell off, so I don't have to figure out how to pop that back in. But this is just such a beautiful, beautiful color. It just goes with everything. Um, now, if I did a cooler look, I probably wouldn't use this one as much, but most of my looks are warm, so I pretty much use this on a daily basis when I do my makeup. It is stunning. I love that color. My other absolute favorite of all time is peaches, and this is very universal. I can use this for pretty much any look. So this is those are my two for 2018 blushes. Can't live without my MAC blushes. I'm a blush girl. I need my blush. I just feel like it gives you color. I'm not gonna go too much in depth with highlighters because I just did a video on my favorite highlighters. You can check out that video above, click that link. I'll link it in the description box as well. That was my latest video. And I really talked about a lot of highlighters. I just wanna mention really fast that Anastasia Amrezy, uh, this was a collaboration, Anastasia and Amrezy, and this is a absolutely stunning highlight. And I forgot to mention that because I did use this a lot in 2018 and that's why I wanted to include this in this video, but it is a really good highlighter. I think it narrowed down to my two favorite highlighters of 2018 would be the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter. It has like a moussey, creamy effect, but kind of leaves that powdered finish. It's just stunning. Probably my highlight of the 2018. As well as Ofer Cosmetics, Rodeo Drive. Oh, this highlighter is just, uh, it's probably neck and neck with ColourPop for 2018 for me. Neck and neck. Again, I'm not gonna go too much into highlighters because even though I just did, <laughs> I just love highlighters <laughs> because I just did that video. As far as eyeshadows go, there were so many eyeshadow palettes that launched in 2018 and I tried almost all of them. Now, some are not new. I'm, I'm just gonna go over in 2018 and some were new. Now the new ones were the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I just did a video on the Dark Magic. You can also check out my uh, Armed and Gorgeous one. These palettes, uh, I, okay, 2018, even though it was 2018 and this did not launch in 2018, I can't even tell you how much I used my original Jaclyn Hill palette. This palette is just everything to me. I cannot leave home without it. If I know, even if I have to do a glamorous look, a smoky eyed look, I will always go to this palette because it is my tried and true. I know I can create the best, most flawless look with this palette. I know it's humongous and I wish Morphe would just like split it up for me. I wish they would split it up in packaging and do like some of the more extravagant colors in one palette and then all the naturals in one palette and just make it a little bit smaller for me. So when I travel, cause I travel a lot, that would be amazing. <laughs> but don't change the consistency, don't change anything. Just, just break it up for me a little bit. <laughs> cause this is really massive, even if I brought all three of them, I wish they were smaller like this, but I do feel like, if I'm being 1000% honest, I do feel like this original palette still doesn't come close to the new ones. I, I think the new ones are absolutely beautiful. Dark Magic is my new favorite. I have the look on, and I think I will be using that quite a bit. I will hit pan on this. I can guarantee you that. It is just so, Stunning. Dose of Colors, Desi Times Katie, that collaboration with Desi Perkins and Katie, Lustrous Lux, they did a phenomenal job on this Frankation palette. Ugh, I did a tutorial on this and the Snow Angels palette, which was my other favorite Dose of Colors uh, look. Uh, you can check out that video as well. It was my New Year's Eve get ready with me glam look. 
yeah, huge highlight for 2018. My last and final eyeshadow palette for 2018 was the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. Juvia's Place is underrated because they are phenomenal. They are so affordable and so rich in pigment and blendability is just on point. It's like Dose of Colors and Morphe maybe even a little bit more pigment than both of those companies. I cannot tell you, this palette is stunning. And the best part is you can use some of these colors as a highlight too. You can even probably, no, you can't contour with it, <laughs> but let's not get crazy. But this palette, this Warrior Juvia's Place palette, yikes, it is so beautiful. And I did the Unicorn for Halloween and the Masquerade palette, check that video out as well. Ugh, the colors are just so rich and so beautiful. As far as eyeliners go, I don't use a ton of eyeliners. I use more waterline uh, nudes. What I also like is the Essence Liquid Liner Felt Type Pen. This is like 250, I wanna say. It's so, hello. It is so cheap. It's just so beautiful. I mean, it just literally is black, 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 which is so rich and so beautiful. And it stays really well. So that's another uh, huge plus to that liquid liner. I like to just use it. I'm not a big, I don't use, I don't do the cat eye look. I don't do wing liners. So I just need it to just like fill in my eyelashes the, between my normal eyelashes and my false lashes. If you don't use liner and I didn't before, let me tell you, you should be because whenever you use, especially with most strips, eyelash strips, you, you kind of need it to just blend it in together. As far as like gel liners, oh my goodness. This is like hands down out of any makeup line out there, prestigious to drugstore, L'Oreal just knows how to put a good gel liner. I'm telling you guys, I'll just take a flat brush and look at how black that is and it just stays, it's so good. What I like to do is just take that flat brush and just put it underneath my eyelashes and just really, it just makes a huge, huge difference in your eyelashes. As far as eyelashes go, so Lily Lashes, my goddess lashes are my ride or die. 2018, year after year, I will continue using Lily Lashes. But let me tell you guys, as far as affordability, because those could be a little pricey, I have been obsessed. And I'm telling you, I buy these like, I will buy, when I see them, I will like literally buy them all because that's how much I love these lashes and I love wearing eyelashes. The Kiss and it's uh, I Envy Premium, so wispy. These are number four, but I usually, like today I have on number one, but number four is another beautiful one. But these lashes are so pretty and they go on so easily. That's the best thing is they go on very, very good. I have been obsessed, I think, this is probably my highlight of lashes for 2018. I'm telling you guys, for I think they're like $2.99. They're so affordable and so good. I cannot use any other eyelash glue but House of Lashes. They just have the best eyelash glue on the market. It is the best. And it's the same price as Duo. My Sephora never carries it in Sacramento. So I have to order it online. I, ha I buy that $15 shipping for the rest of the year for Sephora. So it's free shipping. Or if you go in store and they don't have it, they can order it for you and get free shipping because usually there's a minimum with Sephora and Ulta. But Ulta doesn't sell House of Lashes glue. So I am obsessed with that eyelash glue. There is no other eyelash glue I will use but the House of Lash glue. So those are my favorites as far as eyelashes go and the products that go along with it. As far as like, uh, like a eyelash curler. I don't use too much eyelash curlers. I don't even know what brand this one is from Sephora. And then this one is from, I wanna say it's from Kiss. Um, if I can get this rubber thing back in. I can't put the rubber on. <laughs> I'll just do it later. But this is a good one to just like, it like it's open. So it's not like a normal eyelash curler. So it's open. And what it does is it pinches your lashes and the eyelash together without harming it. And that obviously that pad is to protect it. It's a really good tool. And they sold it next to the Kiss uh, eyelashes. As far as powders go, I forgot to mention those. I do still like to use my MAC Studio Fix. If I'm going somewhere nice and I really just wanna set in my foundation and give it a little bit more coverage, I'm still a MAC Studio Fix kind of
kind of girl. As far as like setting sprays go, I am still a huge, huge fan of Urban Decay All Nighter. I still kind of like when I know I'm going somewhere for a long period of time, I'll still go to my Urban Decay All Nighter because it's tried and true. It just works. I know it works and I know it's good and I know it doesn't affect my skin. As far as like a dewy finish, I love this Tatcha Luminous dewy spray. This was probably this and the Morphe Continuous Spray were my two hits for setting sprays for 2018. Love both of them. This one's only like $8 or whatever. This one's a little bit more pricey. This little small travel side is 20 and I, I want to say the full size is a lot more. So use it sparingly. But this Continuous Miss Morphe Spray was probably my ultimate highlight of the year. I just like that aerosol spray. I think it is a wonderful continuous setting spray. I'm still a MAC Fix Plus girl. I love this gold one. You can shake it and it has like little gold flecks and it kind of gives you that like luminous gold. Oh, it's so beautiful, this gold light. Um, I like it in combination with that strobe cream. I talked about it in my highlight video. So again, check out that video. But I like the regular MAC Fix Plus spray and I usually get the travel size because I like to carry it in my travel bag because I'm really just using it for setting my eyeshadows and stuff like that or getting that pigmentation that I want. But as far as like a finishing spray, I love this gold one, it's so beautiful. So I couldn't really like choose between those four. I just think that they're all amazing. As far as like liquid blushes, I don't really use liquid blushes, but this really made a hit for me in 2018. This was by Giorgio Armani, and this is the Fluid Sheer, and it has like a rosy effect. This is for like that very natural day. Like I really just want that glowy, natural skin, and this is stunning. It's more of a liquid. And let me see if I can squirt it onto my palm of my hand. It gives you like that rosy, beautiful, natural, just use your beauty blender or your finger and just like dab it onto your apples of your cheeks. And oh my goodness, it is just so, so beautiful. The texture is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love that. Um, to go along with the Giorgio Armani line, and this could be kind of expensive, that's why I don't like to really mention these really expensive ones, but this one's called Maestro. And this is a wonderful product. Now it's expensive, but let me tell you guys, it is cheaper in the long run because, let's just say my Jouer foundation is just too light for me right now, right? I can pump this in my hand, I could take a drop of this Maestro from Giorgio Armani and actually darken it up a little bit. Add a, and I can go, I can build it to the color I want. So say I need it a little bit darker, I can go even darker. So it's just basically gonna darken your foundation. And it also works as a good natural bronzer. So it's like a two-in-one type thing. I don't use it very often. You could tell I don't really use it that much, but it is a tool you have to have in your makeup bag or something like that. I really haven't found anything comparable to it. If you know, comment below and let me know because that's more affordable, but this is a beautiful way to just darken up that makeup. And in the long run, it will be cheaper because you won't have to go buy a darker foundation. You can just still use uh, the, your light one and mix it together. So it's a win-win in that way, in, my, in that respect. <laughs> All right, let's go to lips. Uh, my favorite hits for lips were uh, Ulta brand. Now their liquid lips, a lot of liquid lips are, I love the way they look. Liquid matte lips are stunning. They're beautiful. They stay. The finish is gorgeous, but if you have dry crusty lips, it is horrendous. And a lot of the times, a lot of them just dry out your lips completely. Well, the Ulta brand actually does not do that. And they still gives you that beautiful finish, but it doesn't dry out your lips. I actually recommended this to my cousin when she got married and it worked beautifully on her and it lasted all through her wedding. Um, the kiss, the everything, it just, it worked out beautifully and she was impressed too. So, and it's so affordable. So you can use the 350 off coupons that Ulta has. So I really love this color. I can't even tell you what colors. I'll link everything on the bottom. This kind of just gives you more of a rosy color. Um, this probably would have even been good where I don't wear too much red lips. Sometimes I do, but 
Uh, this would be like a good alternative if you don't like a red lip, but you still want some color to really like accentuate your white teeth or I don't know, just you want something, but you don't want a nude that day. This is a beautiful color. As far as like um, prepping and priming your lips, I still love this Stila. It's like a water plumping primer and it is so good. It is so good. I think, I don't even know if they still have it. I think they still do, but this is such a good primer primer for your lips like when you're getting ready or before, like while you're doing your eyes before because usually I do my lips last and that is a good good primer as far as lipsticks these are my favorite of 2018 this is the Urban Decay Stark Naked I absolutely love their lipsticks now a lot of the times lipsticks can be tricky because they can run even when you put lip liner sometimes a lot of these old school lipsticks would still run and that was the whole point of liquid lips is that it wouldn't run. But this one, I'm telling you guys, is so good. I have it on today. I absolutely love this color. It has been my go-to all of 2018. I have used that lipstick. My other favorite is ColourPop, and this one is called Layover. <laughs> so this is another beautiful, like, pinky nude color, but it has a little bit more pigmentation than a normal, like, nude would have. I am obsessed with ColourPop. As far as lip liners go, Two that have really just made a huge impression on me in 2018 is one, uh, very affordable by Kiss. Uh, I don't even know the name of this one. It's just called Luxury Intense Lip Liner. It's like a nudie brown color. I really, really love, 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 love this. Uh, color and the texture. It just goes on very, very smooth and easy and stays. It's, it has a lot of staying power. As far as like more uh, luxury line, Makeup Forever, or Artist Color Pencils, this one is so good. I love just lining my lips. Again, like that's just a very na natural, nudie pink, brownish color. I love this one. So those are my two lip liners as far as uh, my go-to 2018, probably the Fawn by Jouer is my other favorite one. That would probably be a good, this would be a good dupe to that. I'm out of it right now, but that one is another phenomenal lip liner that I did go to a lot in 2018, hence the reason why I'm out of them. Now, as far as like glitters go, and I not ever, this is not for everybody, so you can fast forward through this part if you're not a glitter person, but I am a bling bling glitter kind of girl. And the Urban Decay, Heavy Metals, Urban Cowboy, I think that's what it's called. This gold one is a stunning. You can just create pretty much any look with this one. It's so beautiful, I love this one. All right guys, two more things left. As far as like my go-to eyebrow, it's always gonna be Benefit. I just, I go back and forth between Anastasia and Benefit and I still just like the Benefit pencil. I don't know what it is about this pencil. It's just easy for me to work with. Eyebrows are tricky. I'm still trying to master them. I'm gonna do a whole video on eyebrows because I am still, and people ridicule me for my eyebrows on YouTube, but let me tell you, I, I'm still a work in progress when it comes to eyebrows, but Benefit Precisely My Brow is just my ride or die eyebrow pencil. Can't live without it. I use the 3.5 because I'm very blonde right now, but I can also use four when my hair is a little bit darker. But I just love this pencil. I just love how thin it is. I'm not into the chunky pencils. I know it's easier for some people, but it's just for me. And the, the spoolie on this is just so good. So is the Anastasia of spoolie. It is a really good spoolie too. I also fell in love with the Giorgio Armani eyebrow pencil. This one is very precise, almost like precisely my brow. It is a good like taupey color for my eyebrows right now. It is a little bit ashy though. I don't know. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. I like to fill in my eyebrows with this one. I like to use the precisely as like my outline and then some filling in, but as far as like really filling in with a natural touch, I feel like this Giorgio Armani one is really good and the price point isn't that bad. It's about comparable to the Precisely My Brow. It's not too much more, maybe a couple dollars more. But this product by Charlotte Tilbury has been my ride or die eyebrow. I absolutely love this and I like the benefit gimme brow it is good it fills in your brows it has vitamins in it to help you grow your brows so I do like that and that I will include this in my 2018 top picks but if it came to like ultimately picking this 
eyebrow stuff by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. The spoolie on this is just so precise and it just really combs through and sets those eyebrows and just gives it that beautiful effect. And it's perfect for someone like me who's naturally dark haired and I'm still trying to kind of lighten my brows. This Linda, I think it's Linda is the color, is just been my ultimate ultimate favorite. And as far as clear brow gel, if I just wanted a clear brow gel, Anastasia, there's nobody on the market that does it better than Anastasia when it comes to clear brow gel. Just, that's like a tongue twister, clear brow, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> clear brow gel. <laughs> Try that one at home. Try that one 10 times. <laughs> this is a wonderful clear brow gel. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just need to stop. I need to stop while I'm ahead. As far as mascaras go, and I think this is it, guys. Uh, my top three picks, and they're not even high end, they're all drugstore, is L'Oreal Voluminous. Been using this since high school, 1996. Yeah, what's up, ladies in 96? Over 20 years, can't live without it. But I also love Lash Discovery. I use this on a daily basis. This is just the best of the best. This works like uh, the MAC one, but it's a it's like a, the drugstore dupe of it. I think it's called Extended Play, I think. But it has that really small, small, just that separation uh, spoolie. Oh, this stuff, and it's so black. It's so beautiful, and it's waterproof. Lash Discovery, this is the 2018 newest L'Oreal product. Voluminous Lash Paradise, this is the pretty much dead on dupe of Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, but half the price. <laughs> that, I mean, honestly, I couldn't say one is better than the other because to me, they're exactly the same. They are, this is so good. This is Lash Paradise is so good. It just makes your eyelashes look like you have falsies on when you're not wearing falsies, which is not too often for me because pretty much wearing falsies every day. I love my false lashes, I can't help it. All right, guys, I think that's it. That was a lot of stuff. I tried my best to narrow it down to the best of my ability, but there were so many good products that I used, some new, some tried, some true, some everything. There was just a little bit of everything in this bunch. And I'm telling you, I'm. this is just like, all this makeup right here is a beauty girl's dream. I just love makeup. I love what I do. I love being on YouTube. I love sharing my products with you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your support in 2018. I hope 2019 brings us even more happiness and even more makeup. Again, Thank you for watching my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Set your notification bell for future videos and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys, bye.